Okay, so there I was capturing footage for my Resistance 3 video review when I stumbled across a rather nifty little glitch to get outside of the playable area in one of the very first levels. Kablamo! Pussy! Now, when I did this the first time, it was because the game screwed up and it wouldn't trigger the cutscene and progress the game. I couldn't work out what the hell was meant to be going on, so after a little bit of frustrated exploration, I discovered that you could pretty easily jump over these sandbags if you clambered up the left-hand side of the bridge. Bingo! I'm not supposed to be here. So, what do you do when you go somewhere you're not meant to be? That's right, you have a nose around, which is what I did. But what did I find? Well, first up I found this lovely floating car. Stupid floating car. But what else did I find? Well, as you can see, not much. The graphics on the buildings and road are now super basic, if they're even there in the first place, because, well, you're not really supposed to see them up close at this point, I guess. You're supposed to still be over there. Suckers. Once you get up to this point with the floating houses though, you've pretty much gone as far as you can because, who? Oh, yep, fell through the floor and died. Just like you do in real life. <sighs> This is actually a really easy glitch to pull off though, so if you've already picked up Resistance 3 and fancy checking out what a shoddy job the game testers did, give this one a try. Go on, it's fun to break stuff. Mm -hmm.